Tell me, why is it that this controls your life? Today, we are going to be exploring three reasons why you may be addicted to social media. And the problem has only gotten worse and worse with the onset of new technologies, with the onset of newer platforms. 10 seconds later. But with the onset of newer platforms, people have become so occupied with their social media journeys. If you are new to the channel, I do encourage you to please smash that subscribe button and make sure you turn on post notifications bell so that you don't miss out on a video. Let's go. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. So thoroughly welcome you back to IT and Global, your favorite source of motivational and self-improvement content. Diving straight into the first reason why most of us have become addicted and dependent on social media is of the top is because of the temporary dopamine rush it provides. Now, social media is a place where you can get instant validation. It's a place where you basically post a picture and people, strangers, end up just liking it, commenting on it, saying how good it, how good you look, how good it looks. And that provides the brain with a temporary dopamine rush, which obviously brings us satisfaction and it brings us happiness. And part of the problem is, is that in this day and age, many people are seeking this validation, are seeking this dopamine rush because of how hectic their lives are, because of how stressful their lives are, because of work, because of relationships, because of the fact, you know, because of being lonely. There is a number of reasons for this, but the point that I'm trying to make is that Social media does provide you with that temporary dopamine rush because if you post a picture and you log on five minutes later and see that you got a thousand likes on the picture, anybody, most of the people would feel good about that and that would provide them with that temporary dopamine rush. And that temporary dopamine rush is what ultimately helps them to escape reality in a sense. So it almost places you in your own kind of world, right? where you are constantly in the center of attention, you're constantly in the spotlight, and most people absolutely love that. The second point is kind of intertwined with the first point that we made, in that it, social media provides instant validation. And as I explained in the first point, instant validation is all about making us feel good enough. It's all about making us feel happy. Because if we get that instant validation that we don't get from the real world, we're gonna be so much happier. I mean, just think about it, right? If you log on to your social media profiles, you see all these likes, you see all these comments, you see the, all these people validating you, you see all these people praising you, of course, you are going to feel absolutely unstoppable. Oh, yeah. And the main issue is that we do not often get this validation in reality, right? In reality, we might be uh, focusing on ourselves. We might be following our own journeys, but a very lonely journey at that. Because remember, all of the hard paths are lonely paths. Quote 2023. But anyway, every hard path traveled is often a lonely path as well and because of this people are seeking validation not in reality because they're not getting it in reality they're seeking that instant validation on social media and that is part of the whole addiction issue a few moments later another thing that i want to talk about regarding social media addiction is instant access now what do i mean by instant access i mean there's instant access to people now this is especially detrimental if you are in a relationship, right? Disgusting! One partner might be bored, one partner might be interested, and where do they, where's the first place they look for other people? Normally, it's on social media profiles and dating apps, right? Now, this instant access, they have instant access to better people, to, guy, to, to, to people with more money, to people who are better looking than you, to people who have achieved more in life than you. And and the possibilities go on and on. And I'm not saying that true loyalty doesn't exist. Of course it does exist. It's only much rarer than it was back in the old days. But the fact that, you know, many people now have this instant access to better people, to better uh, opportunities via social media is what's making a lot of people bail uh, out of seemingly good relationships from the outside. So be very careful. Just because you have instant access does not mean that you need to utilize these choices. And I don't like to call them freedoms, I like to call them choices. Social media has not provided us with quote unquote freedoms, it has provided us with more choices. And the fact that we have more choices is basically what makes us kind of, you know, 
second guess our choices. It makes us think thoroughly before we, uh, you know, put our money on someone, right? Because we always will find it better no matter what. If you like this video, please show it. Leave a thumbs up on the video. Leave a comment down below of what you would like to see next. Uh, if you found value in this video, I do encourage you to subscribe to the channel. I do encourage you to share the videos with friends and family as well so that we can get the message out there. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.